would love to get into, you know, uh, the unknown mysteries. Not the unknown unknowns, you know, like you said, it's it, it's a short book. But what I, I asked the same question previously, but what are, are some of the I don't know, quote unquote, the I don't know the answer to about the universe, about reality that kind of take away your sleep, Lawrence, take away, right, you know, like, keep you awake at night. Well, they, you know, sometimes they keep me awake at night, but they used to. Um, the, um, well, I mean, the, the the interesting thing is one of the reasons I wrote that last book was because the questions of the four hundred science are the very same questions people have, uh, pe we've all had about the universe. Um, namely, uh, you know, how did life originate? Are we alone in the universe? Uh, um, how did the universe begin? How will it end? Uh, uh, what's the nature what's the nature of life what's the nature of consciousness um, can you travel in time backwards uh, uh, is our universe unique are there many universes All there's so many questions that, that are the same questions that people do ask that really are at the forefront And but you know in order to understand how close we're, we're getting to be able to really address those questions requires a lot of intellectual baggage which is why I wrote the book. If you're going to talk about what we don't know, we don't know, first you have to get some sense of what we do know. And that's why I use that as a way to try and understand uh, um, those fascinating questions. Uh, um, uh, uh, you know, is, is it, 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 even is, un, is quantum mechanics fundamental? Is it, you know, is it, is if is at the very, at the very smallest scales, does the universe really behave that strangely? Um, and uh, um, and can we, you know, can we manipulate life? Uh, will we be able to create new forms of life that are different than than, than the kinds we know? Is that possible? Um, can we? Can people live forever? All the, uh, which I hope not. But anyway, I mean, yeah, yeah, that's that was actually my question. You know, the the I don't know that feels that a lot of people are well, not a lot of people, but it's gaining traction. Especially, you know, trying to to um, make us live longer is the concept of death. You know, should we should we consider that as a as a you know as a potential reality where none of us where we where we we're born but we don't die? Like, you know, how does your own understanding of our finite existence shape your worldview? Like, what would happen if we solve death? How would that change? Well. <laughs> <laughs> those are good questions i i uh, my answer to many questions is i don't know i think if we didn't die it would be a it would um be terrible for humanity and um you know there's a there's a one of my favorite woody Allen lines is that um eternity is a long time especially near the end mm. and and that's why i can't understand why people crave heaven um the idea of living forever with everyone you know, even the people you like, much less the people you don't like, um, it just seems to me uh, uh, awful. Um, but if we didn't die, of course, remember it would change society tremendously. Then, then the question is, you know, obviously, you, you if you have children, then things exponentially grow. And um, and then what about jobs? You know, I mean, do you have uh, uh, the the whole economics of humanity would change. It's it would be a very different thing now. You know, it already is changing because as people live longer, people used to retire at sixty five, mm -hmm. and then and then leaving jobs for, open for younger people. But as people are working in, in academia, you know, I was a chairman of the physics department. And I worked hard to get my colleagues to retire at seventy, um, even though they could still work and have an office, but 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 at least would open up positions for young people. And now I know I know very few people who retire at seventy. I I retired in from my academic career, but people are you know going eighty, eighty five, ninety, and they're still productive. So this you know that's fine. But but ultimately, obviously, you can't. That's not sustainable. Um, if you're trying to encourage young people to come in, and uh, and have jobs, so it's you know as we as society gets older, and we have to take care of older people as well. But we also could consider people having one, two, three, or four careers. Mm -hmm. It's a totally different kind of sociology. It's interesting to imagine, but it's yeah. going to take time to adjust to it. And it's it's a weird question because 
at the same time we're also facing and i don't want to get again uh do me but we're facing the the population collapse